Uh, I, I guess that brings it to what Silly has done. <laughs> uh, so after uh, the battle and the party, uh, Celia actually returns to um, returns to Balathira, knowing um, how assassins are. <laughs> she knows that uh, even though Orfina is dead. Uh, somebody can just pop in and take her place. And there's only one assassin that can take her place and do good with the Obsidian Order. So she uh, takes up leadership of the Obsidian Order, but she changes it. She begins to work with Mithrani to turn the Obsidian Order, the Assassin's Guild, into the, obs- into the Obsidian Walkers. Instead of, instead of their signature being the Obsidian Dagger, it is an Obsidian Ring. <sighs> um, she uh, trains the rest of the Assassins that um, Orfina uh, left over and she trains them not to cause death but to control it. <sighs> um, once she feels that the obsidian walkers <laughs> are under control enough she takes a very long trip <laughs> to see Madame Mim, where she asks Mim to reverse her race and make her a full moon elf again. Becoming from this day forward, Aizome and only Aizome. <laughs> Uh, once that is done, she goes to Falminari and she confronts her parents. Um, she tells her parents how, the wonderful person that Tara has become and everything that they missed out on solely because they were closed minded. And if they accept, she takes them to Lunaria to meet the child that they ultimately disowned. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> Once Luna, she hears the call from Luna, she knows exactly what it's for. She packs up the remains of Vidar and she grabs Ryan Talia and she takes a much needed trip to Lunaria where the love of her life (laughs) is true resurrected. Uh, After a month of probably being the biggest bridezilla (laughs) that you could know, (laughs) uh, they do end up uh, getting married and uh, so you were talking about the dar being the bridezilla right <laughs> <laughs> yes yes <laughs> first i did not want the viceroy and the wife but the tree <laughs> cannot be your best man it cannot give us <laughs> that is not what are we not understanding here <laughs> 
I couldn't pick between Axel and Locke, okay? No, you cannot put glitter on literally everything. Um, and eventually, um, what originally when they first met could not be, uh, happens. And Celia and Vidar birth a beautiful moon elf named Talonir who gains training from both Vidar and Aizome. <sighs> Knowing um, the lifespan that she has and ultimately uh, her and Vidar will outlive their family uh, that they ultimately destiny created. Um, they travel. Celia uh, protecting the planes and Vidar protecting the spheres. And they uh, tell the stories of the people that they met. And they make sure that uh, their friends are not forgotten. Until ultimately they have to greet Mithrani as a friend and go with him. <laughs>